Hey, this is Marie, and these are a few things that I picked up today. Uh, let's see, first I'll start with uh, Kroger. I used my $2 off Motrin coupons, and these uh, four in a pack were 99 cents, so those were Dollar Money Maker, and I rolled it into um, the caramel dip that I had a dollar fifty off coupon of each of those and the Lysol. I did two transactions which made all of this uh, less than two dollars so that was pretty good and then Walmart I printed off four of the five dollars off the fresh and sexy so those were 99 cents each and then I had one more coupon left for the poise and that was free Okay, then I went to Target and I was a little bummed because the $2 coupons that I had for the L'Oreal had expired on the 23rd, but luckily on the 21st I got a rain check because my Target was always out of those. So I, here's what I ended up getting at Target. 12 of these because I had eight $2 coupons and then recently we got another one for a dollar. So I got um, $12 in overage here. I got two of the two pack of Dove. I had a $2 off a of two coupon from um, Target and it was just, it went to one. I did this in two transactions. And then the uh, method, it was on clearance for $2.54 and I had a dollar off Target coupon and a dollar off Method manufacturer's coupon and I thought I would try this bronzer by e.l.f. because it was a dollar. So all of that together, I ended up paying $5.29 for. So I thought that was pretty good. Okay, and then CVS, I did three transactions with CVS. The first transaction was a clear. That was free because I printed off uh, from the box $4.99 off of any clear and they were $4.99 on sale. So I got one clear. Um, The U Cotex, I had a I had a two dollar off of two manufacturer coupon. I also had a coupon for I think it was like four dollars. It was three dollars when you spend six, and then a dollar when you spend three. I can't remember, but I had I had three dollars in CVS coupons to go with that along with the manufacturer's coupons. The Jergens, I had $2 manufacturer coupon off each one of those and a $2 off two Target coupon making those free because they were $2.99 each making them $6 and I had $6 in coupons. Okay, the Almay, uh, they were $5.99 each I saved $1.80 on each of those. I also had a coupon for $3 off of $12 of cosmetics and the $5 off to Almay coupon, the printable. So with that right there, I ended up paying because I also had my rewards $3, a big whopping $3 print off for this April. With all my coupons and my rewards and everything, I ended up paying for one clear, two Kotex, two Jergens, and two Almay. I ended up paying eleven dollars and eight. I'm sorry, eight dollars and eleven cents. So I thought that was pretty good. My second transaction was another free clear and two of the Kotex, and I ended up uh, that card ended up printing out a five dollar extra care buck. So I used that and then I used the coupon for the free clear and I used a manufacturer coupon for $2 off of two and I ended up paying $4.75. So roughly, and then I had another card that got a free clear. So all of that right there was roughly $13 that I paid. Let's see, eight. Yep, $13 that I paid for that at CVS. So I thought that was pretty good. And that was my haul for today. And let's see before I go if I can figure out how much I spent for all of that. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I spent $20 for.
for all, for all of that. So I think that's pretty good. I had other groceries that I bought too, but nothing really exciting. But that's the deal that I got. All of that for $20. All right, talk to you soon. Oh, also, don't forget that I got the $3 off of the Almay. All right, see you later.